One of the things I've come to love about the Bible is it doesn't attempt to whitewash the flaws of the main characters. Now, back when I was a young man going to Sunday school, I learned an incomplete version of the lives of people like Noah and Abraham and David and others. I had a very exalted view of these people. But the more that you dive into the biblical story, the more that you realize these people have flaws just like we do. Yes, they're believers in God, but at the same time, they have sins. They have shortcomings. They have all sorts of things that plague them just like we still are plagued by our sins and our weaknesses still today. So if you're reading through the Bible along with me, we encounter Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. And certainly he's a man of great faith. He goes where God tells him to go and not even knowing where he's going. So he is a man of faith. And in that same chapter, Genesis 12, we also realize he's a liar. He conceals the full truth to, to Pharaoh. Sarah is, in fact, his half-sister, but she's also his wife. And that lie gets him in all sorts of trouble, not once, but twice. So... The biblical characters are just like we are. They're sinners and saints. They believe in God, but they also believe way too much in themselves. And God still loves them. God calls them to repentance. God calls them to himself, just like he does us. They needed that forgiveness that we also need, a forgiveness freely and fully bestowed upon us in Jesus Christ. He is the perfect one whose, imperfe whose perfection covers our imperfections.